Hello Windows Universe. In this video we will look at a few things you can try to increase your internet speed in Windows. For a more in-depth look at the topic be sure to check out the article in the description. Start by running a deep antivirus and malware scan. Sometimes internet speeds can be slowed down by a virus. Try that first and see if you can notice increased speed. Allow your computer to receive more data. If you want your computer to receive more data at any one time, then you'll need to modify the IRP stack size. Now, this will help if you have a fast connection, but will not make much of a difference if you have a slower connection. Let's open the registry editor, navigate to H key local machine, then go to system, current control set, services, LAN man server parameters. On the right pane, you're going to right click and create a new D word. You're going to call it IRP stack size and give it a data value, a decimal value of 32 and click OK. Then restart and the connection speed should be faster. Next, we can add a default TTL. Open the registry editor and navigate to H key local machine. System. Current control set. Services. TCP IP. Parameters. Create a D word and call it default TTL, double click on it and give it a decimal value of 64. Restart your system and see if your internet speeds are any faster. There's also the option of modifying the TCP extension for high performance. Let's open the registry editor and navigate to H key local machine, system, current control set, services, TCP IP parameters. In the right pane, there should be a D word called TCP 13 230. If not, then right click to create a new D word, call it TCP 13230 PTS, and give this a value of 1. Click OK restart and see if this fixes the problem. Let's look also at closing some conflicting applications. If you have a lot of background applications running them at the same time, then this can only cause a strain on your network, especially if these applications use the internet. So let's go to the task manager, go over to memory, look at applications that are eating up a lot of memory. If it's something that you do not need, shut them down. Of course, do not shut down any of your security software. If it is an application that is not important to you, then you might want to consider uninstalling it. For more helpful articles to help you maximize your Windows experience, go to our website, thewindowsclub.com. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel where we are always adding new content aimed at making you the master of your digital house. Thanks for watching and have a great day.